morning. Um, hello and I hope Happy New Year to everybody. And I'm excited to be here today and to start off the new year. We'll be doing lots more um, Holiday World TV shows to give you an update on what's going on in travel. And I'm really excited to set the year off. I have with me Lachlan Burnett from Bunnick Tours. Now you may have seen him, Lachlan did a live for us earlier on in the year and since then, and he was Mr Asia we called you then, didn't we? You knew everything about Asia. But since then, Lachlan's upped his game and he's now what you would call Mr World, I Pretty think. Pretty much, yep, all bases covered, I think. That's yeah. right, because uh, what I wanted to chat to you about today was that um, what Lachlan's been up to in the last six months, because he's been on long, long service leave. Mm -hmm. And as great travellers do, we like to travel the world, so and that's exactly what you've done. So we've got some great information that you're going to share with us about mm. that. Absolutely. About some of the airlines that you travelled with in business class, which mm. most of our customers like to do that. Mm. Um, maybe you can give us a little bit about that. What are some of the trends in travel coming up? And also then how his new product with Bunnick Tours fits in perfectly with that and for our customers. So, um, welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. Happy it's New great. Year. great. Love to have you here. Yeah. So Good to be here. So tell me a little bit about your adventures since we saw you last time. Well, I took off at the end of July um, and I did a around the world trip. So UK, USA, um, Asia. Mm. which was fantastic and then I got back Norel and I got a little bit bored so a week away where a week later I went away again uh, as travelers do <laughs> as you do <laughs> just to Asia this time and I'm one of these strange people who likes airplanes and aviation so I like trying new airlines so um, a third trip was an opportunity that I had um, I found some very good airfares with Oman Air who's mm. an airline that not many people know about in Australia mm. but I think they're one of the best kept secrets in aviation they're fantastic they fly to a lot of places in Asia the Middle East and Europe etc oh, okay. um, so I went to Dubai from Asia with them um, in business class it was just fantastic so um, it's an option that people could think about you know say maybe buy a cheaper economy class ticket for the short hop to Asia mm. And then a really good uh, long haul fare with Oman Air, say from uh, Asia to Europe, etc. Oh. They're a fantastic airline. Oh. So, yeah, I think in my travels, I went to, as I said, America, Europe, UK, um, Oman, Dubai, uh, China, Hong Kong, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Indonesia. Still a lot of Asia. Uh, yeah, still a lot of Asia because I used to live there. I've got a lot of friends up yes. there who I wanted to catch up with and I had time to do that. Mm. A couple of weddings and things, so, you know, I took time to do that. But, mm. yeah, east coast of the States, west coast of the States, mm. UK, France, Paris, a little bit of Italy. Um, then, uh, yeah, as I said, Dubai, Oman, which is such an amazing country. Mm. Just like the airline, I'm really surprised around didn't know mm. a lot about it. But absolutely beautiful. Dubai is just wealth and mm. got to be experienced mm. at least once in your life mm. um, and yeah then I came back and the opportunity came up to work with this amazing company called Bunnick Tours so that's where I am now I'm very happy to be here too. That's great and we're going to get you to give us a little bit of information about sure. that but maybe that leads into some of the trends that are happening in travel because everyone wants to know what's coming up new what are, what are other travellers doing that is special that make enhance their holidays of a lifetime? Yeah, well, I think what a lot of travellers are doing is maybe I think three things that we can focus on here. One, a lot more people are using travel agents again. Mm. A lot of it's people great say, price. absolutely, so, and yeah. so it should be. But, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, people were saying when the internet was starting to mm. really pick up, oh, this will be the end of travel agents. Mm. There's actually more people booking with agents now than before mm. because they have that knowledge, they have that expertise, mm. and people like myself from the various companies come in regularly and update you on the latest things. Yes. So you have the latest information, people can come to you for advice and mm. plan their perfect holiday and knowing they're in good hands, also knowing if, when they're away something does go wrong, that they've got backup. And great agents like us have you available to share the information Absolutely. directly and if with you our clients. Don't know that something, can't you can come call in. us and we yes. will give you the right answer. Yeah. So people are using travel agents more. Smart travellers are doing that. Second thing is um, people are doing a lot more, um, I guess, organised tours in small groups, mm. which ties in with what I'm going to talk about later. But um, people are wanting experiential travel now. Mm. So they're not just wanting to go and tick off boxes mm. and you know, see things from a coach window. They're actually wanting to go and experience something, mm. experience the local way of life, experience the local food, 
get off the beaten track a little bit. Mm. Okay, so that's the second thing. And third thing, I think people are actually taking longer trips now, particularly Definitely. places like Europe and South Definitely. America. They're doing longer trips because they're seeing the value of doing that. You can, particularly from Australia, we're a long way yes. away from everywhere. Yes. You can just get so much done and really focus on seeing a region in depth and coming away knowing that you've seen it as much as you possibly can and just had the most wonderful, fulfilling experience and being able to say, yeah, I know that area really well now. It's I've not about ticking it. the boxes anymore, no. is it? It's no. about the food and the wine and the culture and yeah, getting and great photos. Absolutely, and also doing it in an ethically responsible way. Mm. People are really aware of this mm. now. They don't want to go and leave a mess. They don't want to go and be part of the mass tourism brigade that's destroying certain parts mm. of the world. Mm. Um, they want to do it in an ethically and morally responsible way mm. um, and you know, have a positive impact that their tourism brings rather yes. than leaving a negative one once they leave. Yeah, that's true. So. Mm. And that leads very well to the new company that you're with, which is Bunny, Bunny Tours. Bunny Tours, absolutely. So we have five wonderful brochures. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth into them, but I'll tell you a few things, just what makes us a little bit different. Mm. So there's the Europe brochure, South and Central America as well. There is also the Asia brochure. There is the wonderful Africa brochure and also the Middle East brochure. Now, the new Middle East brochure is out this week. So um, Egypt is a core focus of us mm. in the Middle East. Mm. And we were one of the first Australian operators to go into Egypt and we're probably the best known Egypt operator in mm. Australia. Our tours there mm. are just amazing. So five brochures, but what makes us a little bit different, Narelle, <coughs> is on the front of each brochure, you'll see this little speed sign. Mm. This isn't how fast our tour coaches go. <laughs> Um, this is actually our maximum group size. Mm. So in all our regions, it's 20, but um, a little bit different is the Africa brochure, which is 12, mm. maximum of 12. So this is what I was talking about before, small groups. Mm. So when we do our coaches, other operators will have 40 people, 45, 50 mm. people, 40, 45 or 50 seats. Mm. You might think, well, that's I've normal. I've been on one of those before. Okay. So. We do a 40-odd seat coach for 20 people. Wow. Everyone gets two seats, and that's mm -hmm. a Bunnick staple that we do mm -hmm. that. And you might think, so what? Well, little things that you might have thought of. Give you an example. Let's say you're driving along the beautiful coast road in Croatia. Mm -hmm. Right-hand side, you've got that beautiful coastline, the sparkling water. Everyone on the right-hand side of the coach is wow, taking photos. Everyone on the left-hand side of the coach has a rock wall. Mm. where the, the mountains Not plunge into the sea. They've paid the same amount of money, mm. but they can't take photos. By having two seats per person, you can move around as you pass different locations, mm. take photos, etc. Everyone's happy, there's room to spread out, put your shopping. Some couples will travel together, but you both want a window seat. So yes. that's possible with us, yeah, perfectly good. fine. Um, the second thing is, is time getting on and off the coach. Because mm. you think about it, 45, 50 people, Take a good five to ten minutes to get off the coach, get on the coach again. You're doing that four or five a day, four or five times a day. That adds up. And time's precious. Absolutely. In everything we do, especially it's when we're on holidays. Absolutely. So if you're doing say four stops a day, um, five to ten minutes getting off. Let's be conservative and say five minutes. Mm. Five minutes getting on. Ten minutes, four times a day, forty minutes. Mm. Over twenty days, that is over twelve hours that you lose the valuable sightseeing time, which doesn't sound a lot, but when you think about it, it does add mm. up. So smaller groups, this is where it's at. The other thing that that means we can do, Narel, we can do things that other operators can't mm. do. So we'll have lunch with a family in France in their farmhouse, mm. absolutely beautiful setting. They can only take a maximum of 20 people. Perfect. Other Goodbye. groups can't go yeah. there, okay? In the brochure there, you'll see things that are in red text for the various tours. Now, with these items here, these are what we call special experiences or mm. unique experiences. There are very few optional tours on a Bunnick itinerary. Mm. Some companies you will go to Europe, you will pay up to say $1,000, $1,500 worth of optional tours. Mm. Um, that's money that you have to budget for. That's mm. also money you're gonna lose on the exchange rate as well. Mm. So with us, the Bunnick philosophy, and it's a family owned company, this mm. family who started the company still run the company from their Adelaide base mm. today. Um, their philosophy is, if it's good enough to be seen on an optional, it's good enough to be in the itinerary. Fair if you enough, should see it, sense. we'll go and see mm. it, which is a great thing. So lots of inclusions, very few optionals as well. 
Another unique thing about our itineraries, Narelle, is that flights are included. And at least you know when you look at the brochure how much it's going to cost you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much paying for most of your experiences up front. So flights are included. We use a wide variety of airlines, mm -hmm. Emirates, Qatar, Singapore Airlines, mm -hmm. Cathay Pacific, so all premium quality airlines. Um, and that's... And I know what people ask though, do I have to stick with those dates? Because people want to visit their friends or they just don't want to do Turkey, no, they want to do somewhere fine. else. So can they deviate from those dates? Yeah, you can. So it depends on the airfare. Um, when you ring up to book it, our friendly reservations team will help you out with that mm. and help your clients out with that. But generally, yes, if you uh, want to do something a bit different, tell us what you want to do and if we can make it happen for you, we will. Mm. Sometimes it might mean buying an extra sector fare. For sure. Just, you know, between and we can and do that Sarkin, to get them in between. Absolutely, no which isn't much money at all. But it is. Uh, we try and be as absolutely flexible mm. as possible, which is great. Um, in terms of the accommodation, again, we're a little bit different. Some companies will say they're three star or mm. four star or five star. We are three to five star. Okay. Because we will use the best possible accommodation for a particular location. Okay. Quite often somewhere like Europe, Narelle, and you know this being yes. a great traveller, hotels might be classed as say a three and a half star, but they're a beautiful boutique hotel, but they don't have a gym or a swimming pool or a mm. business centre that pops them into that five mm. star category. So somewhere like Venice, we stay smack bang in the middle of Venice. You walk out your door and you're there. Mm. There's other operators who will stay on the mainland in Mestra, for example, mm. and you're not it's right too far. part of it. It's yeah. way it's much too far. Absolutely. Um, so yours is much better because you just want to be able to walk out and enjoy absolutely. the plaza. And, um, and yeah, just be there. That's right. Right where you are. So you can go and find dinner or something like that. Mm. Just following on from that. Um, breakfast is always included on your money tours. Mm. A welcome dinner, a farewell dinner and highlight meals throughout as well. Mm -hmm. Somewhere like Africa, the vast majority of your meals are included, okay? Because you're on safari, etc. Yes. It's hard to go out and find something. So yes. a lot of thought has gone into these itineraries. Um, somewhere like um, Iguazu Falls, for example, it's in a national park. There's only one hotel in the national park, beautiful five-star property there that we use. Um, everyone gets kicked out of the national park at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. But because we stay in the hotel in the park, mm -hmm. we have the falls to ourselves in the evening, which and is I'm just magical. And I've been there too, it's amazing. Absolutely. So a long time ago, I'll be keen to go back. Absolutely, so we tailor the accommodation specific for that particular stop on the mm -hmm. tour. We don't like one night stops, they're very, very few and far between. Mm -hmm. So we like to give people a really mm -hmm. good taste of a destination. Mm -hmm. Another thing I'll highlight as well is we do a lot of itineraries. Um, in conjunction with Holland America and Princess Cruises as well. Fabulous. So if you're a cruise person, and a lot of people are mm. these days, a lot of you watching here will be lovely cruising, and it's fully understandable why. It's a great way to see the world, but you get the best of both worlds. Mm. You get a lovely land product here where you can get and look at a country in depth, and then you can have another cruise as part of your tour as well, um, and tack that onto your itinerary. So there's lots of options available. So. It's just a really wonderful way to see the world. Mm. Small group travel. Mm. I'm so enthused about it, Narelle. It's just a wonderful way to see things because we go places that other people can't go. Budding tours are so passionate about their itineraries, caring mm. for their travel agents, their passengers and their staff. And you can see that when you go into the office there. People are passionate about what they do. We have people who have been with us since the company started almost 20 years ago. Mm. And, and our customers want a holiday of a lifetime. Absolutely. And this is, Bunny can provide that for them. Absolutely. And we can extend it on. You can just do the package and come straight home. Mm. Or we can add other things, combine tours, do a little bit of independent if you choose. But you've got that key part that's very Absolutely. special. You've it's, been looked after. Yeah. And we cover so many different destinations. We have a very high repeat and return ratio. Mm. So. Um, and that speaks for itself, yeah, really, doesn't it? Yeah, the vast majority of our clients have travelled with us before, mm. which is great. Once they've experienced Bunning again, that's it. They just think it's the best way to travel. We've actually got a couple of deals on at the moment that I'll point okay. out to you. So, um, it's, what's it is today? Wednesday? Yes. Lost track of Christmas and New Year. <laughs> South American Early Bird, we've actually extended until Friday. It's not long, but if you want to save $500 per person, mm. Go and see Narelle and the team down there and um, deposit by Friday and book by Friday and you can have your early bird, which is 500 okay. for South and, and Central America. And that's the 5th of January for those That is watching. correct. I'm glad you're on the ball, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> and the other one is with Africa. Okay, 500 per person, which is on until 23 February. 
So the African tours are amazing, as I said, so group sizes of 12. The brochure is really useful. Africa is kind of like a great unknown yes. amongst many people, but it's on their bucket list. They might even be a little bit apprehensive about going there. Mm. But if they go and see you and grab one of our brochures, it's actually got guides that will tell you where to go to see what sort of things. Um, a guide to the Great Migration, which is when you watch David Attenborough and you see the mm. animals sweeping mm. across the plains, tells you how that works. So they're very user-friendly, informative brochures. And particularly in Africa, unbelievable itineraries as well. So Kruger to Cape Town, we've got Kenya and Tanzania. Um, we'll also do things like the gorillas in Rwanda. Yes, yes. And one really important thing to remember here is that your permits are included, mm. which it's a lot of companies don't do. And it can be up to $1,000 um, to do those. Yeah. So check the inclusions when you're looking at any tour, but particularly ours and see just how much you get for your money. So you get what you pay for. I think that's classic really example. means that no, because we, either, we have plenty of products that are much lower price, but, but there are extras to add. So we really have to compare apples with apples to make sure. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like more information, send us a message. Um, we'll have the brochures in store and we'd love you to call in and collect those. Um, send a message if you've got some information, uh, requests that you'd like from us. And anything that I don't know, as you know, Mr. World, um, Lachlan will be able to answer that for you. However, the team that we have in store is very well travelled. Doug and I have both been to Africa. Doug and I have both been to South America. Tash has been to South America and um, Galapagos. Um, it, that's just some of it in Europe and Asia. So between all of us, we, we are experts. We love what we do. We love sharing that with you to make sure that you have a holiday of a lifetime. So uh, look forward to seeing you this year and uh, organ helping you organize your trip. So bye for now. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye-bye.